Hi everybody, Lorraine here. Today I am going to do a straight pour and I am going to try to get some metallic pearls in it with my Deco Art Extreme Sheen Gold. This is the 24 karat gold. I have two cups of that. I have a phalo blue. I have a turquoise green, a light turquoise blue. This is a um, master's touch. It's called brown red. It's a copper color. And I have some deco art metallic pearl. So I am first going to put some white paint around my edges. I'm going to use my omelet turning spatula. This is a, called an OXO omelet turning spatula. I found it on Amazon. I have had a couple of people ask me about that. And it is very nice to just smooth your paint onto the edges, onto your entire canvas. Just float it on top and it does a great, great job. I'm just covering my edges because I um, want to make sure that my paint will move to the edges when I'm done pouring it. So just giving it a nice layer, something to flow against. Wipe that off here. Don't want to waste too much paint. Okay, so I'm going to have to use a cup today. I don't have the right size measuring cup. I start off with my pearl. And I have these paints mixed with Floetrol and water um, to consistency where they are just kind of dropping into themselves. Not really leaving a mound. It's a fairly thin consistency. Okay, and then I'm going to go with my phalo blue. And this is probably what you would call a dirty pour because I'm just putting the paint in there, not worrying about layering it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do the copper next. And as you can see, it's just dropping right down in there. Not layering it. I'm going to go with this turquoise green. Put in the gold. And the turquoise blue. And I am going to start out putting this last cup of gold right on my canvas. I do not have any silicone in these paints. Like I said, just Floetrol and water. Okay, there's the cup. So let's see how this works out.
little closer here so we get some different lines. Okay, okay, there's already some really pretty cells coming out here. So I'm gonna give this a torch to get any air bubbles out before I start tilting. As you can see there's a lot of them popping here. Didn't quite go far enough out to this side, so I'm going to put a little bit more white paint to help it flow. And this white paint is also mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. start out by just moving it around in a bit of a circle. And this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So I'm gonna do my best to keep it all within the frame of the camera here. Because I could not find my key to raise my camera up. <laughs> I love the way that that pearl reacts with everything. Okay, I'm going to bring everything back to the center. Okay, sit down for a second. That pearl is this um, Deco Art Metallics, it's Americana decor metallics, bright metallic, and pearl. And it reacts really interesting with the other colors. It kind of gives them a shadow. So I'm going to go to that corner first. And kind of a wide corner catcher here. And slowly bring it down. And bring it back. And if you move that corner catcher just a little bit while you're doing that, then you get to cover your sides. Bring it down to this corner.
I always want to bring everything back to your center point. All of your paint, the weight of your paint to the center point before you move again. It helps keep the shape of your composition. And bring it over here. Got all these nice turquoise cells on this side that I don't really want to lose. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe I can get them to come back up onto the canvas. Get my little corner catcher. Right down to the corner. We'll kind of toss them back on. Oh, we saved some. Okay, I'm gonna set my corner catcher aside here. And check for the weight of my paint and I'm gonna bring it right down to this last corner. And tilt it back and forth just a little bit because my paint seems to be a little off center. Bring it all down here. Those gorgeous, gorgeous gold cells right up along the edge. I like to set it down, take a look at the composition and see what's going on. Got some uh, little bit of copper cells coming up. Nice copper over here, some here, but I still have more paint on that canvas than I want, as I want it to dry without cracking. So. Look at my edges. That edge did not get covered super well. So I'm just going to bring it down that way slowly. Okay. So I want to keep that nice light turquoise. Don't want to lose all of that. I'd like to see those tiny copper cells get a little bit bigger. Stretch it all the way back to this other corner. I know I'm getting rid of a lot of that gold, but I think when I stretch it back, I have a little bit more come out. Gosh, those copper, all of that copper there is lined with the phalo blue. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, kind of like the composition of that. Looks like a canyon, like a snow cave. So, get that in good frame for you. I'm going to let it set for a few minutes and let the uh, metallics do their work with these cells. A lot of times when you let it set, they'll grow a little bit. Check it for air bubbles. It's 
So I'm going to let it set for a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay guys, so here we go. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. It's got some really pretty cells that popped out. Let me give you some close-up looks of it here. That pearl is absolutely gorgeous. Some of the turquoise up here in the corner. Bring it over to this corner where we had uh, some cells pop up. They are really great. Sorry about the glare there. Let me move this over a little and you can see that edge of it. Some more of the copper popping up through there. So overall, I am really super pleased with the way this looks. I want to thank everybody for watching my video. Appreciate that. If you haven't yet, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, that helps me out quite a bit. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.